Good morning. We're going to do a makeup look today. And the fifth theme of this whole getting ready is I'm getting ready to run errands. And I don't look ugly today. Today is going to be let's not look ugly. Uh, I've had the videos that I've edited lately, I've had angry eyelids or stupid hair or something. So today we're not going to have angry eyelids or stupid hair and we're going to have pretty eyeshadow. So let's begin. I'm going to begin by not having mascara in my Mascara boogers in my eyes. I'm using the Tarte Shape K eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to use this little brush to smooth it in. I'm going to... I don't know which kit. Oh, I know. I haven't used the Tiny Marbles kit in a while. It's way over there. All right, I'll pull it out. I had to get her out of the way. All right. Tiny Marvel's kit. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to begin with this. I think I'm going to begin with Flutter By and put that near my crease. Like that. Just above my crease. I'll go ahead and put it in the crease too. So this is kind of an apricot color. I'm not sure why she named it Flutter By. Okay, and now I'm going to take Spider and put that deck even more in my crease. Even lower like that. I know, it always looks like I'm going to the bad place when I start out, doesn't it? I'm going to bring it underneath. Alright. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush. And I'm going to buff that out. I think I'm going to take some Flutter By on my brush to buff it out. My eye space disappears when my Botox wears off. Because my eyebrows drop. But we're still going to try to not look ugly today. I'm going to wipe my brush off on a dry microfiber towel so I can keep it keep it clean. This one's buffing out better than this one. And then I'm going to get that nice and buffed in there on the inside or down lower. Put some more spider underneath. I like my eye look drugged down pretty far on the bottom. Like that. I'm going to use Marvel on my lid and I'm going to pat it on with my finger. Like that. I'm going to begin, I'm going to work on my eyebrows for a moment. That helps me see where I'm going with the eyeshadow once I get my eyebrows on. And I'm going to begin, I think the brow powder sticks better if I put on the brow gel first. I'm going to comb it up so I can see the holes. I have holes along the bottom border of my brows. Now I'm going to use this brow kit. It's from Tanya Crooks. It's Brow Gal. And it's the medium. And I'm going to outline the bottom. Get this ta the tail nice and defined. And I'm going to use a pencil in the front to make those brow hairs look like individual brow hairs. 
instead of it being solid, so solid. All right, and then I'm gonna take the pencil. It's number four. Okay, and let's go back to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder to do the highlight under my brow. Like that. I'm blending those, the spider and the marble together on the edge there. I'm gonna use this pencil to line my, the top. It is a long cone pencil. And I'm gonna look straight into my mirror here so that I can Draw a little baby wing. I'm gonna get a Q-tip and perfect this. I'm gonna use some of the dramatically different moisturizing gel. clean that. I don't know what happened there. I guess I'm going to pull out the studio liner gel and fix perfect this. So I got my foundation on while the camera was cooling off and I used some of my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind underneath my eyes and down the center of my nose. And I'm going to take the NYX Contour Palette and I'm going to do some Brontour. And I'm using the two cent center colors. And I'm going to contour my nose. that and I'm going to take this little highlight brush highlight the tip of my nose keep its bow and I'm going to take my little real technique sponge and take some of the highlighting matte powder or satin powder in this kit and put it under here like that. I believe I need to, I put some dark star on probably while the camera was cooling. I think I'm going to get my lashes and I'll be right back. Here's my lashes. All right, I'm gonna get my lash glue. I'm using the Dark Duo. I'm gonna use one of these skinny, teeny weeny Q-tips to put the lash glue on my lash. I need my glasses to do it. I think I already have sparkles in my eyes, so I'm having a hard time seeing. All right, I'm gonna let that set up some. Here's a little trick. You may or may not find that handy. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the other one up there. They really aren't dry enough. But so I don't get bored while I wait.
All right, I'm gonna let those set up a little bit and not mess with them right now. I'm gonna go use the Natasha Denona Mini Bloom palette again. Uh, you'll recall that last time I went in with this, I went zero to 60 really fast. So we're gonna go in easier this time. I'm putting it way back on the back of my cheeks. It's a glowy, it's got some glowing properties to it. And I usually put glowy blushes back towards the back of my cheeks. All right, let's do a lip. The last time I used stone lip liner, my initial reaction was that I didn't like it. But it grew on me. Let's use strip down today. And strip down is a little bit warmer than what I like. So I'm gonna use a real cool lip stick. This is stripped down from MAC. A nice cool lip gloss is what I want. Here's one, this one is Boys Go Crazy. And I hate that all together with. And this one is Patience, please. So I'm going to take the center off. Put Patience, please on. Boy, I hope I can remember that combo. That worked out good. Okay, and I'm liking my eyelashes too. They're, they're working out fine. I'm gonna be picking my hair out of my lip gloss all day. That's the thing about MAC lip gloss, it is so sticky. All right, I'm gonna take the The line, the eyeliner, and I'm going to touch up on the front of my eyes so that my lash line looks cohesive. That looks good. And I'm going to fix this. This looks a little flat. I don't know what happened over here on this side of my head. Can't go running errands looking stupid. I've done enough stupid looks lately. Today is not going to be a stupid look. So that was, the lip combo was stripped down, then boys go crazy lip gloss, and then patience please lip gloss in the center. Still use it working on this there. Now let's see if we can fix this. It heats up fast, doesn't it? This is that GHD curve that I bought. For my hair kit to do brides. Haven't regretted this purchase at all.
I don't know why this, I guess these pieces, the curl falls out because it's been bleached. And this spray I'm getting ready to use is from Living Proof. It really smells good. It's a finishing spray, a flex hairspray. All right. All right, there's my look to go run errands. We're going to get our wheel signed so that we can leave Taco all our worldly possessions if something to happen to both of us. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe, activate the notification bell, share this video with a friend, give a thumbs up, and comment.